Hello, race fans. The NNSCRA Caterpillar Arca Series is here, and we are live from Rockingham Speedway, where we are about to get ready to have the Rock the Boat 400. After a pretty insane race at Daytona, James Qualls came out on top. So, but um, he's gonna have some work to do as he's starting at the back of the pack. But uh, but uh, our starting front row right here is gonna be Joseph Lombard and Noah Hart in the 63. So there's gonna be um plenty of of a surprise here, and you guys know um um anything can happen in racing, and it's been a while since we've been here at Rockingham. Last time we were here, a car dominated, and I think and I think we had a last lap pass. I'm not sure, but anyway, these 32 drivers are getting ready to uh to roll here at the Rock, as we're about to have those famous words in motorsports. Yes. The long race, we just got staying contention, no mistakes. That's the big key, no mistakes today. We get up there, we get in the top ten, we ride, we ride, we ride. That's what we got to do today. Well, as the cars are rolling off pit road, here's your starting lineup for the Rock the Boat 400. You saw that starting lineup. Joseph Lombard is indeed on the pole in his 31 car. Dylan Poteet and, and Justin Williams are starting side by side. In row three, we have William Duncan and Danny Wells. So we're going to have to ch check and see what um, unveils here. The pace car makes its way onto pit road. And we're going to be doing this for 40 laps. And the green flag is out of the rock. Oh man, Justin Lombard, he's already um uh, um off to um a pretty good start. Dylan Pulte makes his way into second. We're trying to have um a Chevrolet one two right now. Completing the first lap it is uh Justin Lombard as he will lead it. Noah Hart makes his way um into second and he's trying to and, and he's trying to uh catch that 31 car. Remember at Rockingham turns one and two, you need to be on the inside, but turns three and four, you get a real uh, strong run um off the outside as Justin Williams uh just demonstrated as he just makes his way past Dylan Pote. Now running in fifth we have we have um Danny Wells, as we just saw, uh, William Duncan trying to get on the outside now, and it looks like, uh, Noah Hart, he's trying to get a run, uh, behind the 31, but Joseph Lombard, he's trying, he's trying to, uh, block him as much as possible, let's ride on board with Noah Hart. And wow, Noah Hart, he, he's just all over the back bumper of Joseph Lombard. Now Joseph, he doesn't, he doesn't really have uh, much uh, experience at Rockingham, but he's trying to, he's trying to uh, prove it today. He's not on last six. Joseph Lombard, he has led the first five laps of this event. As we head further back to see, there's Joseph Lombard's teammate Evan Gattuso in the 41. He's trying to, um, and uh oh, oh. Uh oh, we got a car in the wall. That's Michael Norman in the 44. And that's going to cause him to, lo to, to lose about four spots. He drops all the way back to 10. And, almost, uh, 
Uh oh, and uh, two Toyotas almost got together. That's Mason Wood, and that's uh, Brian James in the 66. He's trying to, he's trying to go for a, um a top 10 today. Heading all the way back here, there we see Barney Ward in the number 36 Dodge, and we see Sean Henley back here in his famous Lucas Five. And uh oh, oh, uh oh, I just saw smoke, but I don't think, but I don't think we have a caution. Uh oh. Oh man, something happened to the 14. That's Austin Ogo. Something happened to the 14, but we're not under caution. The caution did not come out. But, but oh man, just look at the real damage that Austin Ogo has. And he's not he's not coming down pit road. And uh oh. Another car has damage. That's Brandon Bain. Oh man. Oh man, Brandon Bain and Austin Ogo must have got must have collided together. But the caution did not come out. We're still going green. Headed back to the front. It's still all about uh Joseph Lombard. But but uh Noah Hart, he's not giving up. He's really trying to get on the back bumper of that 31. Justin Williams, um, he, he's made his way into third. Dylan Pote, he's running in fourth. William Duncan is um fifth. Zohar Mana is sixth. Danny Wells is, is seventh. Mason Wood eighth. Excuse me. Brian James is ninth and Michael Norman is in tenth. And oh, oh, oh man, I thought I saw um um almost four wide a second ago. As we now take a look at Alex Drayton in the fifty one Chevy Impala out of uh, out of uh, Phoenix Racing. He's trying to get behind Sean. And I think uh, and I think we just had um, a car scrape the wall. I'm not sure. As we head back to the front, it's still all about Joseph. He is not. Uh, he has not looked back from the start of this race. He's really trying to keep uh, keep his outside line going. As we head um, as we head to the back of the pack, there's Charles Jackson alongside Dylan Young. These two are trying to battle it, uh, battle it out know, for position. As Dylan Young, he just went way high, just sucking through the field there. There's Lyndon Wright in the 09 and right and oh 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 man we got a, another car in the wall that's Max Skinner oh boy yes yeah yes if you hit that yes you can get a real good outside rust but if you hit that wall in turn four you're gonna drop like a rock and that just happened to Max Skinner let's now take a look at um uh Cody Lamas in the 19 and he got some side damage maybe he's one of the cars that hit the wall earlier. Right now, he's running in 19th position. Heading back, heading back to the front. The top five uh, st still looks the same. Joseph Lombard, he's still being as dominant as ever. Shockingly, uh, clean racing so so far. We we've had a little uh incident, but the caution did not wave. As we now try to have um, um a battle for second between the, the 63 and the 25. Now we see, whoa, oh, oh no, careful! Oh man, William Duncan, he got up into the wall a little bit, but but he didn't get stuck. That was close. And oh man, he, he almost came down onto um Dylan Pote, so so he really needs to be careful now. As we now see Justin Williams trying to fight on the high side now. Trying to trying to do a crisscross move. But the more but the more these guys go side by side, the more that 31 car is gonna get away. We're almost at the halfway mark. And, and remember there are no um um there are no pit stops in this um in this league. So these guys can go uh, all the way. The only time they'll pit is if they'll get in a wreck. But Joseph Lombard, he's really showing dominance today, starting on the pole. And so far, he's led every lap so far. That's going to be uh, real valuable bonus points for him. I believe he's going to clinch most laps led at this point. As we have, uh, as we have a small battle right here between uh, Dylan Pulte and Danny Wells. Let's run on board with the eight. Danny Wells trying to uh trying to decide if he's gonna go low or go high and he almost made it three wide with the four and the 96, but he couldn't get back out of it. 
No. Oh, oh, caution's out. The caution's out. The yellow lights came on. We had a wreck somewhere. The caution is out. What happened? Uh-oh. We had a spin in the back. And oh, no. It involved Brian James. Brian James in the 66. And whoa, whoa, oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. He just got taken out by Brandon Bain. Oh. Oh man, what was that about? A little bit, a little bit of frustration on the 16. I don't know, but wow, that was that was really uncalled for. Oh man, let's take a look and see what happened to the 66 as well as the 14 and the 16 in the earlier laps. Okay, here's what happened to the 14 and the 16. Apparently, apparently, the 30 of Zach Campbell got loose, and in turn, he gets into the 14 of Austin Ogo, and that also gets into the 16 of Brandon Bain. So that's uh, so that's what happened there. The the 30 gets loose, and he came up right onto the 14, and then that makes Austin Ogo send him and Brandon Bain into the wall. Now both cars uh slam hard into each other and it's a while but they were able to keep going and the caution did not come out. Yes, the caution did not come out after that. So that's how they lost the pack. Now let's take a look and see what happened to the 66. Now here's what happened to Brian James in the 66. At the time he was running in ninth position, but heading out of turn 2, he almost went 3 wide with Michael Norman and Mason Wood. Now out of turn two, Mason Wood just hooks the left uh left rear quarter panel of Brian James and he just pretty much spins him out. He was running in the top ten, then something like this happens to him. And I bet he and I bet he's really not gonna be happy with um with Michael Norman about this. He just gives a little tap to the safer barrier and if that wasn't and if that wasn't frustrating enough, when he was coming uh towards Towards the front straight away, he also got taken out by Brandon Bain. So I don't know. So I don't know. First he get first he gets taken out by Michael Norman, then he gets spun out by Brandon uh Bain. So so pretty much so pretty much in a half a lap, he he went he went from let's see, he went from ninth to thirty first that fast. And I don't really see any damage on that car. He shouldn't uh he shouldn't have any problems, but we're gonna have to check and see with an update on Brian James. And here we are back at Rockingham with one lap to go on the restart. No cars dropped out from that accident. But but uh Brian James, he's gonna restart in 31st, right in front of uh I mean uh right behind uh Brandon Bain who spun him out. To get back in a 30th position. But anyway, here's our top 10 rundown as of right now. Joseph Lombard, Noah Hart, Justin Williams, Zohar Manut, Dylan Pote, William Duncan, Danny Wells, Mason Wood, um, Tim Walsh, and Michael Norman. That's our top 10. We will pass ha halfway, and Joseph Lombard has, has clinched most laps led. Um, he's led, um, he's led the first 23 laps, but can he lead the final, um, can he lead the, the final 17? I don't know. We're gonna have to check and see. Noah Hart ha has been all over him all day. And we're having the restart. It looks like, uh, Noah Hart got a better start than Joseph did. And oh man, Noah Hart, he's making, uh, he's trying to make his move under the 31 car, but don't, but don't forget, he's, uh, he's been getting that strong outside run, and here comes Justin Williams, uh, making an outside power move for second, and he's got it. Now he's gonna try to, uh, uh, go to the outside of Joseph for position. Ah, but he can't quite get there. And we're trying to have, uh, 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 about a... For fifth between William Duncan and and um Dylan and he's got it. That's gonna force uh Zohar um on the high side in the twenty two and that's gonna give him the fourth position. I mean just look I mean just look at the top three cars. Just just look 
How close they're running. Whoa! Oh! Oh, man! That was close. Dylan Posey almost got turned by Mason Wood. Whoa, man. That was close, but he saved that shit. And, and oh, man, he... You know, man, he almost got, got a little bit loose again onto um, the 12 of Tim Walsh. Oh. Oh, man, these guys, they're really, uh, they're really, uh, starting to get rowdy right now. So they all, they all need to be careful. Let's check on Brian James. See if he's advanced any p positions. It looks like Brian James made his way past last week's winner, James Qualls, and Dylan Young. Now trying to work on getting, getting, uh, to, um, Charles Jackson. And oh, oh man, we got a car on pit road. That's Lyndon Wright. Uh oh, did something happen to the O nine? I have no idea, but we're gonna have to uh get an update if this is um a scheduled pit stop or or if he has a mechanical issue. But heading back to the action, it's still all about Joseph Lombard and that and that third one car. But Justin Williams, he's not he's not giving up one bit. He he's really trying to catch that 31 as both him and Noah Hart. They're, they're still trying to battle it out for second. Next time out, we have 10 laps to go. And the last time the last time uh um Joseph won a race, it was it was uh in the second cup way back in in, in uh Atlanta. That was uh his very last win, as he now has a bumper full of that 25 Toyota Camry, who's really trying to, he's really trying to chase him down, trying to get that outside run. And there's a lot of guys scrambling back there for position. And whoa, oh, oh man, what's wrong? With the 96, he's coming down pit road. Oh, oh, Kasha's out. The Kasha's back out. The Kasha's back out. Something happened. Oh no, last week's winner, James Qualls, and Brian James again. I just talked about Brian James. But oh man, something happened to the 96 too. He's coming down pit road. I think something broke on that 96 car. Whoa. And a car. Oh man. Oh no, that's Alex Drayton. Something happened to the 51. Oh man. Oh man, couple cars got damaged. That's that's Max Skinner. And Tim Feigler too. Oh man, something else happened. Something else must have happened. Anybody else got damaged? No, I, I don't see. But oh man. I think we had I think we had a big crash. Let's take a look at the replays. And here's what happened to bring out our second caution. And believe it or not, we had two wrecks. And this is the first one. Heading into turns one and two, Brian James got hella loose and he nearly gets into the 59 of Paul Stella, but he but he thought he saved it, but he was wrong because as soon as he saved it, he gets turned by by um the 32 of James Qualls. Then James Qualls he ended up getting turned by Dylan Young. So that's a little bit of so that's so I guess that's a little bit of karma to last week's winner James Qualls. He takes out Brian James, then James Qualls gets taken out by Dylan Young. Wow. Now for now for the now for the second accident that I missed, it involved it involved um Alex Drayden um and Nathan uh fail and Max Skinner. Now this is after they crossed the line for the caution. There's Alex Drayden. Right here in the 51. He crossed the line in 15th position. Now pay attention to the car that's behind him. That's Tim Feigl. Both Alex Drayton and Tim Feigl are in the second cup respectively. But look what happens here. They're trying to straighten up. But then. But then I guess uh, something happened to Max Skinner. Because Tim Feigl. He just hooks the 88 right onto Alex Drayton. And it sends the three of them straight into the wall. Zach Campbell get gives a little hit to um the 88. Charles Jackson did as well. Then Alex Drayton, he got slammed by um by uh Paul Stella. And that's and that's 
how that happened. Let's look at it from another angle real fast. Yes, right there. Tim Fago just hooks the 88 of Max Skinner. And Max Skinner just drove into the safer barrier head first. Right in front of Alex Drayton. And this is after they crossed the, the line. Then there's Paul Stella getting a huge hit to Alex Drayton, so he's done. Oh man, Tim Feigl, he's going to have some, some uh, explaining to do for what he did. And here we are back at Rockingham, most likely getting ready for our final restart. We're going to restart with five laps to go. And the cars that dropped out, it turns out, uh, Lyndon Wright, when he took his pit stop, he lost a piston in his engine. So that's what happened to him. Then Alex Drayton is out, then followed by Paul Stella, and then Max Skinner is out. Anyway, here's our top ten as of right now. Joseph Lombard, Justin Williams, Noah Hart, Zohar Mana, Dylan Pote. Danny Wells, his teammate Tim Walsh, Michael Norman, Evan Gattuso, and Barney Ward. That's our top ten. We're re we're we're gonna restart with five laps to go, and anything can happen in five laps. Can Joseph Lombardo hold off the twenty-five to get his first Arca Series victory? We're gonna have to check and see. And here we're having the restart. Five laps to go. And Justin Williams, he's already uh trying to He's already uh trying looking to make to make his move on Justin. And he's um he's gotten under him, but he couldn't quite clear him yet. And Dylan Pulte, he just went uh to the inside of Zohar. I don't know um if that was a good move or not. Up, I don't know. Now we have uh four to go, and Justin Williams. Justin Williams is not letting, is not letting up from the thirty-one. If a caution, if a caution comes back out, the race is over. And Joseph Lombard uh staying strong on uh, on the outside line, but but he better watch out for Justin Williams. One slip up, and then. And then uh, that's the whole race for him. Next time by, we have two to go. Joseph Lombard trying try to uh, defend wh whatever uh, he can. We're still going green. Just a lap and a half to go now for. The 31, as Noah Hard trying to bail it out with Zohar for third, trying to get that podium finish. Heading out of turn four, we're coming to the white flag. This is the final lap. Joseph Lombard trying to go for the perfect performance. Start on the pole, lead every lap and win. Heading into turns three and four. Pretty much a no contest day for Joseph Lombard. He will come out of turn four and he will win the Rock the Boat 400. Joseph Lombard dominates and he and he wins here at Rockingham. Second place is Justin Williams. Third place is Noah Hart. Fourth place is Zohar Mana. Fifth place is Dylan Pote. Sixth place is Danny Wells. Seventh place is Tim Walsh. Eighth is Michael Norman. Ninth is Evan Gattuso. And rounding out the top ten is Barney Ward. But there's our winner right there of the number 31, Joseph Lombard. And the standings are, are, are um, official. Joseph Lombard comes out on top today. 
Sean Haley, Alex Ferranti, Kyle Sanoski. I know I need to change your last name because I got it wrong. Tim Feigl and John Waycross ran out the top 15. Then it's Mason Wood, Michael Walton, Cody Lamas, Zach Campbell, and Dylan Young rounds out the top 20. Then it's Luke Martin, Eric Burton, William Duncan, Charles Jackson, and Brandon Bain. That's the top 25. Then from 26 on down... Well, well, then James Qualls, then Brian James, a real tough break for Brian James. He had a possible top 10 going until he got taken out. Then Austin Ogo was the last car running, and then we all saw what happened to Max Skinner, Paul Stella, Alex Drayden, and um, Lyndon Wright. We all know what happened to them. Well, well, we're done here at Rockingham. The the season is still young, and there are and there are just um, thirteen races left to go. But don't worry, it's gonna be uh, packed with a lot of action. Congratulations one last time to Joseph Lombard for winning the Rock the Boat four hundred.